What you doing, Mr. Welcher? Refilling my life jacket. Because, uh, for whatever reason, it inflated on day three of four. Got back to the boat, and it was inflated. So, it'll be like this. It looks like it's in mint condition to me. Like this. Oh, it is in mint condition. Freaking mint. Absolute mint. Beautiful. Got her dialed. Got her dialed. So give me an update. What is today? What are we doing today? Today is, uh, I don't know, like May the 2nd or something. We are in Gadsden, Alabama. Lake Neely Henry. Practice starts in the morning. Rain's coming in. It's okay though. Gotta get out there. Gotta work our butts off and find us a dang bass or two. So. Tomorrow morning, gotta go. Spot a bass or anything? I'm gonna go for the dam right away in the morning. Uh, white dam, whatever? Yeah. yeah. What's up? Hi, Hunter. Hi. Where are you? Yeah. Which one they generate from? There's two. Yeah, that's what I mean. But they generate from the middle one, I believe. Because yeah. you kind of treacherous to get to the other one. Mm -hmm. But I've heard people do it, but I don't think they're in bass boats. What'd you do to your finger? I heard it at uh, Pickwick. It's, it's, not, it's not serious, it just won't heal. Is it a tendon? I don't know. I had an x-ray on it. Like, it just, it, it's been swollen. Like, you see right there, it's swollen. It's been swollen for like a month. And, like, it don't hurt that bad. Dude, I wonder you got a pectoral fin in there. You think so? But you do. I don't know. I mean, I might. Can you feel where the throbbing pain is? Mm, no, it's just What's like, like all, all the way around the joint. Inflammation. You been taking anything? Like, Excedrin or anything? All right. We are officially here. Lake Neely Henry. Day one of practice starts here. As soon as I get the boat in the water. We're allowed to be on the water. Starting about five or ten minutes ago, so. About to put the boat in. Still pretty dark. It's gonna be rainy, nasty weather today, so we're not gonna film much. But we are here for Neely Henry to try to find us a bass or two. Not gonna take a lot of weight in this one. Something around 12, 13 pounds a day is gonna do super, super good in this tournament. 14, 15, 16 pounds a day is probably gonna be like the, the winning weight. So, you know, today we're just trying to shake off a couple good ones, get an idea of where we feel like the better quality largemouth and spotted bass are sitting. Then we can expand on it for like a week straight. So get out there in the rain, in the storms, and find us a big old bastard team. To catch y'all up, Neely Henry. This is day three of practice. Day one of practice, rain like crazy. Not, not that bad, really. Day two of practice, it got nasty. We probably spent an hour and a half, two hours underneath a, a bridge. But we got a lot of fishing time in, checked a lot of water, marked a lot of places. You know, in those crazy conditions, a lot of times you have to mark water that you know's good or you feels good. And you just got to go back and hit it, you know, kind of without, even if you didn't get bites. And that's a perfectly fine thing to do. I marked a lot of places that I feel like going to hold fish consistently. Didn't get very many bites yesterday. Did catch a five pounder, which is a dang giant for this lake right here. But we've had some big bites the last couple of days. Just haven't really been able to, uh, you know, put it together and get multiples. You know, the first day I had one bite, looked big, didn't catch him. Then yesterday had one bite, like a five pounder. So, I mean whatever got to put a couple of those in the boat on tournament day and we'll be fine but right now the rain has stopped the rain's officially over with we gotta go out here and check and see exactly what the water color looks like check these creeks see which ones are blown out which ones are clear so about to hop out there so give me the rundown on what's going on well right now we're just rigging hoping that we're going tomorrow a lot of people don't want to go tomorrow I like to fish. I like to fish bass tournaments. So I want to fish tomorrow. If it's dangerous, we shouldn't go. I don't know. I, I don't know all the information. I just know that I shook off on about four pounds on this bad boy at the end of the day today. And I need him to bite it again tomorrow. This is an interview. Why are we not fishing today? Because it's flooded. Terribly flooded. So we got a day off, which I've been asking for for years. So finally, we got some time to go back and redo all the tackle that I just rushed through last night. So that's why we're not fishing because I needed to get my tackle more organized. So I called bass, made them take a day off because I got one more rod I want to rig up. So now I'm gonna let them go tomorrow. Jason, how was your practice? The practice was absolutely horrible. Um, didn't even catch a catfish. Uh, I 
Very few bass. Hit a lot of logs. I actually had one wedge between my motor and my boat. Had to take my shoes off and push it out from underneath. Um, yeah, it was, wasn't very good. Um, How was your practice, Kyle? I did catch a catfish. <laughs> and some bass. Yeah, it's bad when every guy in the elite caught a catfish in practice and you did. Yeah, it's not good. That's how you know you're I think off. there's some of them like, like made it to the pot of grease last night from what I seen. So, yeah, yeah all in all, it's. kind of to eat. The kind that are like the squash. The light eat light. Yeah. They're good. I thought it was they like eat only light. live bait. Is that everybody's order or just some yeah. of it? Now we got some barbecue. I guess this is what me and you got. Look at the size. Oh, everybody got the same thing? I got potato salad. That's coleslaw. Just a swinging, Kyle. Just a swinging. So give us an a update. So today, we ended up getting today postponed because the facility that we're going to use to launch and use, you know, to check in, tie our boats up, everything, the docks were underneath the water that we would have needed to use to stage. So, we had to postpone it for a day because there was so much floating debris. The docks were underwater. So now, tomorrow, as soon as this fire truck gets out of the way, I'll let y'all know. But tomorrow, we're going to be a go. We're going to be able to go out there. We're going to be able to go out there on Neely Henry and try to find this five bass. That way, double digits. So, how was your practice? Practice was decent. It wasn't that great. Had some quality bites, you know. A lot of the fish that I actually tried to catch, I missed, so they wasn't eating super good. Found a couple of bed fish, water dropped two feet. Couple but tornadoes. It's all good. All that's out the window. We're on a river, post spawn. A little bit of spawn is still going on. Shad spawn starting. Bream are schooling up. You can go cover some water, maybe get a bite or two. So that's the plan. Go cover as much water as possible. Keep my, you know, confidence baits in my hands, and pray we get a couple big ones. That's the plan. Well, you can I'll tell you, don't have where to put them. So, she's going to ask that most people, if you stand at the campground, or if you can, launch elsewhere, which is it. But like, you got Macy, I got Hunter, we can dump us in, and we're good, but other people ain't. So, even if we get, even if we come here, we might have to wait behind folks, you know, that we might have still had to wait an hour, even though it ain't us, you know? 